Today's episode is made in partnership with Samsung. Hello. Hello, James. James. Hey, sister. Where Hello. are you? Oh my gosh, all the stuff so in the other room. Hi, oh! sisters. <laughs> we can make how will it turn out omg we're coming over open up we're here okay you're yelling like so loud omg <laughs> i'm sister screaming guys we are at james charles house hi sisters my name is james charles and i'm a 19 year old beauty guru and internet superstar <laughs> I am literally so beyond excited to be on an episode of OMG We're Coming Over. Like, this is my biggest dream in my entire life. I have literally been looking forward to this for as long as I've ever. I love James Charles so much. I'm just so enamored by him. I think he's so amazing. And we've been wanting to work together for two years. And yeah, we're doing an epic collab with him because today we have an empty room, his entry room, the first room you walk into and see we're going to be doing that completely because it's completely empty. But then over on his channel, we are doing the rest of his house because his house is like kind of there, like his furniture, but none of the rooms are fully pulled together. So we're gonna be here all week. <laughs> Guys, if you are coming from James's channel, welcome sisters. Welcome sisters. This is the creative weirdo fam here. Yes. Uh, and we are accepting new <laughs> creative weirdos. So hit that subscribe button and join the fam. Yes, we are a community of creative weirdos, which is all about celebrating your uniqueness and being unapologetic about the creative weirdo that you are and just living the because why not lifestyle. This is gonna be an amazing episode. I'm so excited. Me too. Are you ready to get into this, sister? Oh my gosh, I'm so ready. Can you be my sister if you're also my wife? How does that work? Ooh, I hope not. Let's not go there. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, everyone. We just want to take a quick break to tell you how we're super excited to be partnering with Samsung to show you their Galaxy Note 9. This is one beautiful piece of technology. It has a 6.4 inch infinity display, Ooh. a really cool S Pen to doodle and also to remotely control your camera. And also the camera itself is incredible for photos and shooting video. Bless you. Are you filming me? <laughs> yes, I got all three of the sneezes on camera. <laughs> For me, the most important thing about a good piece of technology is how it enables us in our creative process. Our days are jam-packed capturing video and photos to share with you guys. So this camera is really great because it has flaw detection, which can detect if you are blinking or the image is blurry, and it makes sure you get the perfect shot. The Galaxy Note 9 has pro mode, so you can really dial in your settings if you want. Things like shooting in RAW, adjusting the ISO, white balance, all those things that us professionals really mm -hmm. like to do. Oh, I also love that it comes with the S Pen, which allows you to be even more creative than you can with your fingers. Because on every project we do, I always have to sketch ideas to convey them to Joey or our crew and make sure that everyone understands what I'm envisioning. And so the combo of the amazing screen and the S Pen really makes my job so much easier. Thank you, smart, smart S Pen. It really is a cool phone, so if you're looking for a powerful all-in-one solution, make sure and check out the Galaxy Note 9. And to see more videos made with the Galaxy Note 9, check out the link below. Thanks again, Samsung, for partnering with us on this video. And now let's get back to the decorating. Okay, so I love that you're already getting started, but let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about the direction of this room. So Kate and Joey are actually doing my front foyer living room. It's a room in the front of the house that literally serves zero purpose right now. There's a fireplace in there, but other than that, that is literally it. And we figured it'd be a really good and fun and fresh room to decorate because it's like the first thing you see when you come into the house, I feel like it needs to be good. And right now it's not. So like, that'll be good. All right, so all of this stuff is for other rooms because we have all the stuff for this room on the truck. Yeah. Yeah, we have to move all this out. But you're not allowed to see any of the stuff come off the truck. So Rude. basically. <laughs> 
already getting annoyed at I the know, surprise. I know. Oh. <laughs> guys, we have a sister secret. So you guys probably know James loves to sing. He has a beautiful voice. And Morphe, the makeup company that he did his James Charles eyeshadow palette collab with, reached out to us and was like, we'd love to give James a piano. We know he wants one. We know you guys are working on decorating this place. Can we do this? And we're like, oh my gosh. So we've been arranging with Morphe behind the scenes to get a beautiful brand new glossy baby grand piano delivered here. It's gonna be so cool and he's gonna be sister shook. So we're not painting in here. No, you like white walls. I love white walls. I would say my aesthetic is very like modern contemporary farmhouse type of vibe. He loves like black and white, gray, maybe a little bit of like natural wood tone, maybe a little bit of off white and that's it. All right, so since we're not painting, our first creative project could be clearing the room out. We need a that little bit of your creative project. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. No. She's pregnant. You don't want to see that. She can sweat. chill. You're helping me. <sighs> Fine. I was really ready to do a lot of crafting and projects for this. I was not ready to do manual labor. Joey, watch yourself. Oh, Joey, this is too big. <laughs> you got it. Oh, oh. Freaking out. Wait. Got it? Are you still holding it? No, no. it's too heavy. <laughs> Kate, sit down. What? I'm I'm carrying throw Joey, pillows. Joey, where do I take this? Exercise is good for you. Oh, I cannot. You're gonna have to go through labor. Oh, absolutely not. Use your butt. His arms aren't long enough, Joey. <laughs> this is a heavy one. This isn't. Was this what you imagined? <laughs> yeah, when you that's what I thought. When you dreamed of being on an home chair coming over episode. No. <laughs> I was ready for the creative process. <laughs> okay, James did not know what he was signing up for. He's not down to become a mover today. It's okay, James, I'm rescuing you. Let's go do some creative projects. And Joey can be Joey two boxes today. Or Joey 25 boxes. <laughs> I think it's time for us to go do our DIY project. I think I would agree. Right? <laughs> Joey, you got this. Keep, sure. on, keep up with the sister squats. All right, let's go. Let's DIY. go. <laughs> Love you, Daddy. Okay, so I know, <laughs> obviously, you know what this room is. So James and I are in his beauty room. This is where he shoots all of his videos. Obviously, he spends a lot of time in this room. We're gonna be pulling it together a little bit more on his channel. But I wanted to go through his beauty closet and just see if we could get some inspiration for some abstract art that I want to create with him. She's Your slightly messy, room. but um, it gets but the like, job. But like pretty organized. I'm actually so impressed by how clean you kept, like you get rid of a lot of stuff. I do. Which is I donate Amazing. a lot of stuff because yeah. we get PR packages and boxes literally so like every much. hour. So I would so much rather donate it to people who really need it than have it just than have it just sitting around. And, right. Yeah. Okay, so this is rather dark. <laughs> oh my god, it's a voodoo doll. Oh. Any sisters who just want to unsubscribe? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, you guys don't unsubscribe. How do you think we're already at 13 million sisters? So let's pull out some shapes that are like everyday identifiable for you, but like we can then work with them abstract. So I mean. Kate, what about like a beauty blender? <gasps> the most iconic shape ever. Yeah, kind of, there's, we have like the teardrop and then we have like the Morphe one that I use a lot. That's Ooh, like. the angled. Kind of fun. Oh, I love that. I feel like the beauty blender is literally like the perfect solution. It kind of has like a fun little oblong shape, which can definitely lead to a lot of inspiration. Inspired moment by a beauty blender. <laughs> Love that. Okay, perfect. We're done here. Let's go DIY. Okay, down. That's all we needed. We just needed a spark of inspiration. Sometimes that's all you need. A sister spark? A sister spark. A sister spark. We did it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we have our wonderful inspiration on hand. Okay. I'm so excited to find out what we're doing. Okay, so we have a big blank canvas in front of us. I know James is not overwhelmed by this by any means. He does beautiful makeup on bare faces all the time. So let's just call this a bare face canvas. And we have on hand four different colors of paint, but of course all very minimal. This is kind of like our secret spark of inspo, but like no one else otherwise will know right. that it's the inspo. Except for the millions of people millions that watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so the majority will be the kind of off-white, cool. right, as kind of our bigger area. And then we'll do our beauty blender peak. Cool. Peeking in. Cool. With then almost, which I love, the, the idea of doing the shadow in white. 
So it's that kind of inverse. Ooh, okay. All right, so we're just mapping out this shape James is drawing, a nice little beauty blender curve with a slight angle. So now that we have our pencil mapped down on the canvas, we are going in with some acrylic paint, just layering those different shades of off-white. We wanna make sure we have the texture of paint because there's just something so texturally beautiful about seeing like dollops of paint amongst the flatter paint, especially when you're only working with a couple colors. Have you talked about what your childhood room looked like? No. I, I want to know. Okay, my childhood room was dark green. Wow. So gross. So and not you. No. I hate, green is my least favorite color too. Literally. Except, except for, plants. for plants. Yeah, yeah. Well, except for plants. <laughs> so I hated my childhood room and all the furniture was like this like dark oak wood. Hideous. Like oh not gosh. even like a cute oak, like a a gross, warm tone brownie, crusted, dusted, busted oak. Like old, like nineties. Yes, 90s very bad. Oak. And my dad would not let me paint it. He wouldn't let you paint the furniture or the room. Anything. Oh, so, so they decorated. So this wasn't like your. Oh, I had no say. No say. No, not a single little bit of say. And finally, when I think I was like. 12 or 13, I convinced him. I feel like the sisters know literally every single thing about me ever, but Kate got me. I have never addressed my childhood bedroom, probably for a good reason. It was hideous. My style when I was in high school was straight up drag queen. Oh, I love that though. <laughs> That's a good style. I painted my bookshelves lacquer red. <laughs> No, you would have died. That's disgusting. Yeah, That's it, a, you would have been major ew. My mom said it looked borderline bordello. Thank you. I love that I'm painting with a beauty guru who actually knows how to wield a brush. And I grew up drawing all the time, but painting was something that I wasn't really that good at. So I always had to work a lot harder at it when I was like, when I was in art class and stuff. Yeah. So I enjoyed the challenge. Okay, so this is our white, that's our white, this is our black. I think we do the white last. Okay, so we wanna do a white highlight in between the black and the off-white, but it's really important to make sure that we let the black and the off-white dry fully so that the white won't blend with those two colors and we can get a nice crisp line. All right, I love it. And I know Joey has a project to do with you. Oh God. <laughs> scared. More manual Actually labor. Scared. All right, this painting is looking absolutely incredible. I'm obsessed with how it's turning out. I think it's going to look so good in the final room, whatever it ends up looking like. But I am being summoned by Father Joey now to go do more manual labor. Cannot wait. <laughs> I'm ready for this. All right, so James has been working with Kate on their DIY, and now he's gonna come out to me and we are going to finish it off with some cool framing. You're handy, right? So I haven't told you this yet, but my dad's actually a contractor. Oh, I think I knew that. You've probably seen that we've done frames before. It's like our easy way of, of just making things look nicer, but we want to take it up a notch for you. All right, so the effect that we're trying to achieve is the frame having a floating border around it. What we're going to do is we're going to back the entire thing with a quarter inch plywood. So I just got a four by four piece at the hardware store. We need to cut it down from that because our frame's 40 inches. So you'll have like an inch and a half of space around the frame. Fun. And then this can either all be like a really chic, like black, or we could do like a poly coat on this and really like sort of bring out the wood tone. I feel like either would look good. I think you should decide based on what the room looks like. I don't know why he's asking me to choose because like that is not my department. I don't make choices. I just do stuff. I'm letting you know that either one is gonna look great. Okay, I feel like because of the fact that we have a big like black splotch in the corner, the wood might look really, really nice to offset the darkness and okay, like bring cool. like a more light vibe to the room. If it doesn't look good, it's your fault. It's you, hundred percent your fault. Here, safety first. Oh, my makeup's gonna get messed up. People always wonder how Kate gets like DIY stuff done with her like crazy long talon nails, but we have that times two today because James is rocking the talons as well. Like a boss. I'm a professional. All right, so we got our backing. So now we're gonna do the actual frame part. All right, so we got our one by two pieces of wood that we are just going to make the size of this 
plywood that we just cut, so 44 and a half inches long. We're gonna miter all of those edges so that it all fits together into nice 90 degree angles. Wow, we're so talented. Yay. Thank God. All right, we're gonna do the surround first. So why don't you go ahead and just clean up those edges. Okay. So you grew up like working on work sites with your dad? Not works. He, so since he was a self-employed contractor, he did most of his stuff at home. And like we did a lot of DIY projects because my mom was very crafty mm -hmm. and I always liked building things. When I first started doing hair, me and my dad actually built a salon in my, in my basement together. Oh wow. Um, and then it turned into the beauty salon once I started doing makeup a few years later. So that was definitely like my favorite memories like with my dad. Everything from cutting wood, painting, building things all around the house. You name it, I did it with my dad and we got everything done together. So. We're just gonna throw a little wood glue in that joint. I love throwing wood glue in that joint. So to make the joints, we're just gonna put a little bit of wood glue in there and we're gonna use a nail gun to just keep it strong while the glue dries and we are almost done. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, I'm very talented. I personally think I'd be a great Mr. K. I already have a pink wig. I can put on some of her cute jewelry and um, maybe just walk around a little bit shorter. Hello, how's it going out here? Hi, you sister. Know. Doing pretty good, It I looks think. really good. And he told you that it's gonna be like a floating frame, right? Yeah, I'm so excited. I think it's gonna look so sick. So chic. Okay, so now's the time where we would kick people out normally, be like, go on, go run some errands. When you come back, your room will be done. And we could totally finish this room in a day, except that we have seven other rooms to do in this house. So we're basically gonna be here for the next four days and we're not getting the piano delivered until tomorrow because James is gonna be out at meetings all day. So it's perfect. We'll be able to like wheel the piano in and keep up our tarps and make sure he doesn't see it until the big reveal. Why don't you just go ahead and drive just like two or three on each side. Just make sure you're on the edge because we don't want it to split inside, you know? Yes. All right, so the plan is, is we're kicking you out of, Already? This, of this room. Oh yeah, we have lots of other rooms to do. Yeah, yeah. but you can't look in this room. Sister Scouts We're honor. keeping it a sister secret. Sister, sister secret. secret. I want to be sister surprise for once in my life, so I'm very, very excited. I will not look, I promise. Okay, so we'll, I'll see you around, just not in the room. Okay. <laughs> Take this back. Okay, well. Yeah, thanks. Saying it. Good job. <laughs> Love you, Joey. Okay. So already, Joey and Kate are kicking me out. Kind of rude, but jokes on them because we still have to do literally the entire rest of my house. So I'm gonna be hiding out. I am not gonna peek because I want this to be a sister surprise, and we're gonna go decorate even more. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hello, guys. Creative Weirdo. Sorry, we are interrupting your regularly scheduled programming to bring you some super, super exciting news. You guys are here, obviously, for the James Charles episode. But before we get into that, we just have to tell you, you guys have been asking in the comments. We, we have, have a TV, TV show. TV show. An HGTV show. HGTV. A TV show on, on HGTV. HGTV. Like, hello, you guys have commented so much. You guys need a show, you guys need a show on HGTV. And they listened. They listened. And they gave us a special. But here's the catch, guys. It's a special, so we filmed it. We redid an entire house, which is obviously different from what we do on YouTube. Don't worry, we're gonna continue to do things on YouTube. We're not stopping YouTube. We no. are YouTubers, this is our home. This is just an opportunity for us to do other big projects so that you guys can get the whole shabam just more, from us. Just more stuff. And so we need you creative weirdos to band together and tune in February 9th. It is a Saturday. Set your DVR, set your alarms. Talk to whoever robot you have working for you. The show title is... Help My House. We get so many emails from you guys with the subject line, help my house. Help my house. <laughs> so that's what it's called. Help my house. We're doing entire homes. Yes. So guys, yeah. it's going to be amazing. And we'll keep doing our room transformations here on YouTube, so don't worry. But if you guys can go and support us on February 9th to tune into this special, we hope that the Creative Weirdo community can make this into a series. And hopefully we can do more of these. Guys, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Across the board Across on HGTV. Board. Hit the pause button. Go over to your TV if you have one and set, set your, your DVR. DVR. Set your recording, set your alarms, whatever. Yeah, yeah. 2 p.m. And thank you so, so much. It's because of you guys that we even have this opportunity over on HGTV, so thank you. We love you. But in the meantime, see you at James Charles' house. Let's go. Whoa. You painted my hammer. Wait, did? <laughs> it looks beautiful. Okay, so 
This is the first thing going in this room. Piano's going, they're gonna go like right here. Yeah, right? so it is a baby grand. Yeah, which right? is still gonna be big. Which is, is not a baby. Okay, so I have a funny story for you. We have been planning this makeover now since before the new year. So we came, we measured, etc. We also started talking behind the scenes with Morphe. We planned the whole piano thing. And then James texts me around Christmas and he's like, oh my God, Rayson got me a piano for Christmas. And I was like, that's really nice. But what? What? And I was like, send me a picture. What kind of piano is it? And he sent me a picture and it is a white upright piano. Beautiful, it's custom. Grayson, the Dolan twins, oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. That was such a sweet, sweet gift. I was like, you know what? That would be perfect for your master bedroom because James is extra and he lives in a mansion and he needs a piano for upstairs and downstairs, right? Definitely. Who's here? James, get back. Drew, it's Drew. Drew! Oh, my gosh, come in here. Oh my gosh. What a, what a team. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're making a cameo. I know. I love Drew. Okay, Drew, I have known about him for a long time. He's actually a long time creative weirdo. Props, Drew. Love you. Thank you. And I got to meet Drew through James because he's his BFF. And so we've been hanging out a bunch since we've been working together. And yeah, Drew, Drew's over here to, I guess, just keep James a prisoner in his master bedroom until we get this room tarped. Keep him. Good to see you. Get, don't let him don't come let him out peek. of the room yet. Okay, I'll do until that. we have it tarped up, okay? okay that sounds good. Okay. Whoa. This rug is beautiful. It's bringing in a pattern, but it's a nice low pile, so it will work really well with the piano resting partially on it. And I love that we're bringing in a little bit of a pattern, but it's still monochromatic with tones of gray. Pregnant rug cuddles. Yay. Wait, I can't. I can't. Here, you can lean back into I my can't. stomach. This is really hard. <laughs> so I guess this is like the first official rug cuddle. It's more of like a rug waddle. I don't think I can get off the floor. <laughs> You're gonna have to get me up. Oh gosh, okay, oh, well, that's good. Oh, can you get me out of bed like that in the morning? I'm so excited about this. Okay, so we can't paint in here. Right. But we are going to give him something on the walls. Uh huh. So this room actually has really beautiful architecture in it, which is great. Really helps us with the minimalist design since we're not painting. We're going to be doing these awesome decals. So these were actual images I took of some green palm fronds. We actually sell them as prints on our website. But for this, we made them black and white and printed them as decals to fit into these squares. I want one coming down from the ceiling and the other one kind of coming up from the bottom. So decals are really easy to put on. You just kind of peel off the sticky back as you go, making sure that you're squeegeeing out or pressing out any air bubbles. Then once you got the whole sticky back down, you remove the sort of like protective overlay. And I love that these are actual photographs because they have like a subtlety in light. You can see a little bit of highlight going on. Okay, so now we need to bring in the chaise, the settee. So this chaise lounge half couch kind of day bed is so beautiful because this is kind of a pass through room. I didn't want to have a full back to the couch that would cut off the eye line into the dining room. So this is like a really cool modern way to just separate the spaces because That's it's big. a formal living room. It is, it's, it's long, but it's our only piece of like sitting furniture other than the piano bench. Okay, well long. you're not gonna bring that in. I usually would carry the heavy stuff with Joey, but Joey doesn't want me lifting heavy things, so thankfully we have Nick, the sound guy. Nick? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Can you help me actually? Sure. <laughs> sound guy Nick to the rescue. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> oh my god, he has a sound bag on. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. You're right, hired. Nick. Back to work. Okay. <laughs> Back to the other side of the camera. Keep making it sound good. Thanks, Nick. Right. Thank you for helping. <laughs> you're welcome. All right, so I'm gonna just hang these tarps up. That's gonna be it for today. We got the piano coming tomorrow. We'll get these lights installed tomorrow, finishing touches, and then we'll reveal it to James. Morning, guys. Good morning. We are back at James's. We are doing a whole bunch of installing today in other rooms of his house. We also have some really awesome deliveries coming. We have some custom signs that we've made for some other rooms, and we also have 
The piano. The piano. All right, guys, day two. We're at James's house. He is not here today. He's at meetings all day long. He gave us the keys. Very dangerous decision. Here we go. We got a lot to accomplish. All right, so over his mantle, he has these sconces that we are going to replace with something just a little bit more modern, a little bit more hip. Just a little, like, more simple. Like, these other ones have this sort of more, like, gothic look to them almost. And they're also, it's they're too big for for how big this spread is. Yeah. All right, so the frame that we did turned out really cool. I'm just gonna finish it up by putting on a coat of polyurethane. It's just gonna sort of bring out the tone of the wood. And we're just gonna center the giant canvas that him and Kate made that, by the way, also looks incredible. So this is the sister's neon sign that is going up into the office. We have this custom made. This is the sister's studio sign. Look how good this looks. These custom signs are amazing. Oh my gosh. Check out his channel to see how those look when they're up. <gasps> Joey, look at this. What is it? Piano bench. Yeah, you know what that means? Piano's here. I hope so. I hope we didn't just get a bench. All right, guys, so the big product today is the top secret epic grand piano. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny. Okay, so we are pulling the room finally together. There isn't a ton that we're putting into this room, obviously, we've talked about. It's a petite space. This DIY art project and the floating frame turned out so beautifully, probably one of my favorite DIYs we've ever done. On the chaise lounge, I'm just placing this fluffy white pillow because I just wanted a little bit of coziness, a little bit of texture. It just makes it that much more appetizing to sit down. I am so obsessed with how these decals turned out. And this swing arm sconce is so cool. So this I put on the inspiration board when I sent it because I was like, this is so his aesthetic and will nicely offset the asymmetry of the piano and give it a little bit of height going on. We can't fit a big coffee table, but we need some sort of surface for James's audience to set their drinks down on, you know, as they're watching his concerts. I found this petrified piece of wood that's on like a metal stand. It has the same color palette exactly that we have going on in the art above. I knew that I needed a safety pin because James wears the safety pin earring all the time. Like it's so cool. It's kind of become like his signature thing. It really stands out. He wears it in one ear. He's been wearing it the past few days I've been around him. So I know he likes that shape. I also know that he gifted Ethan Dolan a little safety pin necklace one time I saw in one of his videos because real fan here, Stan right here, James Charles Stan. Okay, the sconces had to go. So buy old sconces, hello, new, sleek, vertical sconces. These are so amazing. I mean, hello, these bulbs in the sconces are like torpedo bulbs. Oh my gosh, this is very exciting. Right? And look at this. It's now becoming one room. Formal living room slash piano room, meet the dining room. But don't look at the dining room too much because that's going to be on James's video. <laughs> yeah. All right, should we get him? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, we have to get him because now it's open. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> I literally am so excited to see this room. Oh my God, you guys. I have been cramped up in my room all week long. So rude. Wow, I love this. <laughs> This is a good way to come in. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. They are closed. This is, this, this is a first. All right, guys, so we are bringing James down. It's time for the reveal. He can't see where he's going on the stairs, so I'm giving him a lift. Sorry, Kate, but I think I'm gonna need to be carried like this everywhere from now on. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. They're closed. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so, so nervous. <laughs> okay, so this was, this was the room that you had no idea what to do with. Can we I'm count? extra, extra nervous, yeah. I'm so nervous. 
<laughs> okay, ready? Okay. One. One. <laughs> One. One. Two. two three. three. Oh my. Holy <laughs> crap. It's a literal grand piano in my living room. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! We have a freaking massive we piano. Massive... Which we, we had to do this with the we help of someone else. We have a special guest oh. appearance. Your friend Linda, Linda from Morphe. From Morphe. Oh. <laughs> she got you this piano. I cannot believe that Linda from Morphe is literally here in my house right now. Kate really hit her good. I could literally start crying right now because she just has a very, very special place in my heart. Linda is the founder of Morphe and I've been working with them for a very, very long time. It's my, amazing. This is literally the best room ever in the entire world. Look at how chic our painting looks. I know, right? Good job, Actually, man. So Couldn't have done it without you. We're so talented. <laughs> oh my God. Kate, the rug. Yes, I know. <laughs> Shopping, yeah. I was like, you can't, you can't get, get that, that one. one. Oh my God, you guys. As me and Kate were shopping for rugs to the rest of the house, we literally scrolled past this one. And I was like, oh, this one's really good and fresh. We should probably get that one. And Kate's like, mm, no, I don't think we should. Oh my God, the safety pin. Yes. Your little That's iconic That's so chic. Oh my God. <laughs> for my ear a little safety wear, pin. A big safety <laughs> pin. This giant safety pin has got to be one of my favorite accessories, literally of all time. If you guys know, I always wear one diamond stud and one little funky earring. I just took out my safety pin literally 20 minutes before we started filming today, but I'm usually rocking a little dangly safety pin that I always get so many questions about, and it is so adorable that Kate noticed that and wanted to get a decor piece to tie it all together. It means so much and also is very, very chic. How cool is this day bed this chaise is. situation? It's a chaise. I wanted it open so you could have like this, this, this sight line This is literally still. so... <laughs> and so, this is where and your, so audience your guests sit. can watch you play. Oh, yeah. So when they can Linda all comes enjoy over, are you going to play a song for us? We're going to yeah. have a seat and watch you. I wasn't ready. Yes. yes. I wasn't ready for a song. This was epic because it was like, what do we do with this room? Linda was like, we want to somehow be involved and gift them something. Yeah. So, I mean, that's like probably the biggest gift you could get. It's so beautiful. It's a baby grand, so brand oh, new, my. glossy black. It's so chic. I put that here for your pink drinks so that Ooh. you don't put them on the piano. Great thinking, you know? yeah. I mean, there's coasters, but you know, pink drinks off the piano. <laughs> I feel like the layout and design that Kate and Joy picked for this room is literally perfect. It's the first thing that you see as soon as you come into the house and I feel like the grand piano is so welcoming. And since it's an open floor pan, having the shorter chaise lounge allows you to look right into the dining room right next door and obviously there's a big hallway. Everything just flows together so nicely and I think it is now the perfect entryway to the sister sanctuary. Yeah, these really cool the removable decals that Kate took pictures of palms and we like die cut them to like the exact edges. Whoa, they those... look so cool. Right, she. I love this light too. Yes, for all of your music reading. Oh, right, the music, <laughs> the, the music that I cannot read. I just play by ear. It's so beautiful. And we obviously replaced those sort of weird gothic looking sconces. Oh, they were the before. ugliest. Yeah, these are more elegant. I love these. Line. Oh my God, you guys, I feel like you did literally like the best job ever. <laughs> okay. Like this is- I, I was so nervous because no, it was oh like little, gosh. you know, the minimalist vibe. It's well, like, like you said, it is a it. small space. Yeah. And especially with a piano too, like it's- I mean, this is the theory. crown jewel of the yeah. room. So it was basically just trying to make everything else work around it. I feel like this is the perfect entryway to bring you into the sister sanctuary. Absolutely. Yes. Like it looks so beautiful. You guys killed it. He loves it. He loves everything. He totally saw the safety pin. Our work is done here. Slash not, because we still have to finish the other rooms for his channel. We're going to be here till midnight again. Play us out. Well, yeah. I wasn't ready. Flying up on the, on the chaise, I don't know darling. What, what song do I play? I did not know that I was getting a grand piano, and I can only really play music by ear. In the four minutes that you've given me since the surprise, I've prepared you a wonderful song, Kate and Joey, and I hope you like it. Oh. And I hope I can play it. Ooh, that's great. Okay. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over. Ah! Joey! Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so good. That so was good. so uh, good. Oh available on iTunes now. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, guys. We just got Sister Serenaded by our own theme song. That was amazing. What an episode. Iconic. What an episode. What an experience. I can't believe it's over. I'm so sad. We've literally been here. I feel like, why don't we have a bedroom? We need a room here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to move in. We love James truly, truly so much. Thank you so much for letting us infiltrate your house. And thank you to the sisterhood out there for watching this video. If you feel like subscribing, we would love to have you as part of our Creative Weirdo family. Creative Weirdos and Sisters Unite, because why not? Yep, this is uh, just the tip of the iceberg of our awesome OMG We're Coming Over series. We have makeovers like these with all of your favorite YouTubers. Yeah, uh, so happy binging. Happy binging. If you're new to us. Thumbs up for this beautiful one. Oh, thanks. Thumbs up for this beautiful one. Um, and this guy in this here. This guy in here. Uh, He's been rolling around. <laughs> oh, has he? Yeah. <laughs> stay creative, stay weird, stay you, because why not? Bye! Bye. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's over. <laughs>All right, guys, so Help My House is the name of the show. February 9th. Yes. Which is a Saturday. We need you to 2 tune PM. in. 2 p.m. See you there, no matter yeah. the time zone. No matter what time zone you're in, 2 p.m. on February 9th. On HGTV. On HGTV. So go set those DVRs, set those reminders, and... Uh, we'll see you there. We'll see you there.